What's up guys, Dr. Kelsey here. Today I'm gonna to be talking about why my patients choose to purchase their herbal supplements or nutraceuticals through me versus Amazon. So if you guys have been watching some of the other videos I've been putting out, you're probably a little bit familiar with, uh, about, with the supplements industry. And I've talked about this in a number of other videos. I talk about this frequently with my patients, with my students, uh, during any public speaking event I'm giving. And really what that boils down to is just a lot about safety and efficacy of supplements and making sure that if you are somebody who's taking supplements, that you're getting your money's worth and that you're using something that's really positively affecting your body versus something that's negatively affecting your body. Now, if you haven't seen any of those videos, I highly suggest you go check them out. Um, they're brief, but they'll give you a pretty good understanding of some of the challenges that we face in the supplement industry and why it's important for you to make sure that you are getting a high quality supplement which often means you need to purchase them through a healthcare provider who is using a company or multiple companies that are physician line only. So a big question that comes up a lot of times in conversation is, you know, why should I buy supplements from my healthcare provider when I can get them on Amazon? You know, Amazon's easy, it's, it's like, I just order it, it shows up at my door, I use it all the time for everything else. Um, and sometimes it's a little bit cheaper. So why would I continue buying them through my healthcare provider who might be a little bit more expensive? And you know, I, I used to get this question a lot from patients and I just don't anymore because the patients that I choose to see have a different understanding about not just supplements and you know, quality of supplements and and you know, making sure that they're getting something that's really supporting their body in general, which is really important. That is also like a big part of my practice and the patients I work with, but they also understand that there is a very um, different level of an energetic exchange that's happening in the relationship that we share as a doctor and a patient. You know, a lot of people are used to providers that they only see once a year when they have to get their yearly labs or they only go in to see when they're having a healthcare problem. But what my patients experience is something entirely different. I am a provider that walks the journey with them, right? So most of my patients were looking at their health in a much more preventative light, or we are doing active ongoing care to move them out of a chronic state of either pain, inflammation, um, disease, into their next phase of personal evolution. So we're constantly trying to level them up. And you know, most of my patients are entrepreneurs, they're high level business people, they are high level athletes, uh, they're celebrities, they're people who are high performing individuals. And high performing individuals understand that you have to always be working for improvement, right? It's not something that you just kind of let things slide by the wayside until there's a crisis and then you try to fix it. So this usually isn't a problem in my practice because it's just the type of people I work with. But because you guys are watching this and because people have asked and they're interested, I thought I would address this question. So the supplements that I use in my practice do come from physician driven companies that put in a lot of extra time and finances to doing third party quality assurance testing, basically to make sure that the products that they're making are free of any harmful substances like herbicides, pesticides, any chemicals, um, any heavy metal toxicities, any additives that could be causing, you know, either nothing or could just be causing problems in people like grass clippings or sawdust, but also making sure that they're free of common allergens that could be a problem for some people like shellfish, gluten, dairy, soy, corn, nuts, all of that kind of stuff, dyes, right? So I want to make sure that the patients that I am working with are getting supplements that one, are really worth their money, but are actually accountable for making them feel better, right? It's not 
great for my patient, it's not great for me, it's not great for our relationship, it's not great for anybody to be taking supplements that aren't gonna help you feel better, that aren't gonna do their job, right? Because otherwise, what's the point? So this is something that is very important to me in my practice and something we talk about a lot with our patients to make sure that they understand that there is a reason that they're being prescribed what they're being prescribed. Um, you know, we are not people who use supplements just for the heck of it. We use them very, in a very targeted way to help people level up in their health and in their lives. Now, because of that, my patients understand that there's also a pretty strong energetic exchange that's happening in our relationship. You know, my recommendations for supplements are based off of a lot of different things. It's not just on a whim that I, you know, think somebody should take a multivitamin. It's based on years of research, years of education, years of medical training to fully understand many different things, right? I'm trying to understand exactly what those nutrients are, what they do in the body, what the herbal remedies are, what they do in the body, what they do in combination with each other when they're in a formula, and also understanding the body's physiological process, what happens uh, when something goes awry, like the pathological process, and then being able to combine those two things together to really understand what happens when you take these substances, whether they're nutrients or herbal remedies, or, you know, or even chemicals like pharmaceuticals and apply those to a body that is functioning in a particular way at a particular time. And so there is a massive amount of time and energy and expertise that comes in from my side to individualize a supplement protocol for every single one of my patients, knowing that that may change over time as that person's lifestyle changes, as that person's circumstances change. And so it is very tailored based on expertise, on time of getting to know my patient, and then really trying to align a treatment plan with their specific needs. And Now my patients understand because all of my time and energy is going into that, that their exchange is then to con is then to continue supporting me by purchasing those products that I have very specifically chosen for them from me rather than an online retailer like Amazon, even though they might get it a couple dollars cheaper, they know that Amazon doesn't really care about their health and isn't putting in the time or energy to know how to specifically formulate that. And so there really is, um, uh, a mutual respect in the appointments that I have with my patients and the relationships I have with my patients. And that's why my patients choose to continue supporting me with their supplement purchases because they know that I am continually supporting them in their healthcare goals and in their journey. So if you are somebody who is working with a healthcare provider, um, and you are feeling very you know, motivated about your health, you want to work on prevention, you wanna work on leveling up and getting the gains that you can in your life, then you know, my recommendation is to you to continue supporting that relationship with the person who is putting energy into supporting you because there is a dynamic exchange that happens there that goes beyond just the supplement itself. It goes beyond taking the supplement or the remedy or the pharmaceutical or whatever it is because when people work in community and when they have a mutual respect of each other and they mutually support one another, we know that our health tends to flourish just because of that social connection. So again, if you're questioning this, if you're not sure if you should buy the supplement on Amazon, if it's a little bit cheaper, um, if it's a little bit more convenient, if it's something you're used to, just keep in mind that we know through research that social connection and having that um, empowerment between or in a relationship between two people to depend on each other uh, really actually does add to your health. So I hope that answers your questions. Um, I'm sure there will be conversation about this, which I am very happy to see. Um, so go ahead and write any questions or comments you have below. I'd love to know if you are somebody who supports your provider um, by purchasing products through them and what you have found in that relationship and why that's important to you. So until next time, have a great day, stay healthy, make good choices, and know that everything you're doing today leads to tomorrow. All right. 
Talk to you later. Bye.